cut and thrust between Paul Tracy and Alex Tagliani. Tracy was on cold tires. Even as good a driver as he is, he was pretty much a sitting duck as he left the pits. Yeah, it's so just It was a brave move, though, when you saw what happened there. Tracy knew the leaders might pass him, but as they come out, here he is right here. He sees Tagliani, and watch him break a little bit too late. Look, gets sideways right there. See him sideways, sideways, sideways. Tag goes down the inside. Woo. That Paul didn't get too much oversteer there. This bit of opportunistic driving by Alex Tagliani. On board now with Tracy. Okay, so Tracy has now effectively moved his way from 16th on the grid up behind the leaders because everybody now, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, all have to make one more stop. Except John Carey, who now leads, has to make two more. in the lead. Tracy now sixth. Behind Shankara, Damata, Franchini, Fittipaldi, and Tagliani. Yeah, it is, it is a temporary lead. 20 laps. I mean, he's, he's well out of sequence, but in 20 laps, he will make it to the top. It will not take him to the end. time championship situation now on the racetrack numbers one two and three in the championship are running two one and three nope reverse that <laughs> one two and three on the racetrack are two one and three in the championship standings and i was never very good at math let's push let's get some laps going now let's push a lot of celebrities on hand this weekend, as we mentioned. There are a couple, upper right of your screen, two of the stars of the kart driver development ladder. A.J. Allmendinger on the right, the 2002 champion of the Barber Dodge Pro Series. And on the left is John Fogarty, this year's champion in the Toyota Atlantic Championship. One step below the champ cars of the four-step kart driver development ladder that begins with go-karts proceeds all the way to the Kart FedEx Championship Series. Those two drivers are here this weekend as a part of Kart's mentor program. Each is working with one of the teams this weekend as a team member to get a feel for what it's like at this level. Interesting look at the lap time that they're doing when Tony Canaan was leading earlier. He was doing in the one minute three. We know Christopher DePaulli on the light fuel log right before that last pit stop got into the twos. Right now, with an extra fuel load, they're running fives and sixes. At a one minute 5.3, and Tomata's last lap was one minute 6.1. Junquera has got a minimum of 20 laps less fuel weight in his car over Junquera. 60 minutes. Here's a look at our leaderboard. Bruno Junquera over Cristiano Tomata, Dario Franchini, Christian Fittipaldi and Alex Tagliani. I almost said Emerson Fittipaldi. Christian's uncle, a two-time kart champion, who's here, who is here this weekend, along with his brother, Christian's father, Wilson Fittipaldi. Yes, Emerson uh, presented the pole position flag yesterday to Tony Canan. So Emerson still working hard to organize a race in Brazil. Now, Cristiano D'Amato was just told on the radio by Kenny Seawick that Bruno has to make two more stops. He says, so settle down and stay on the road. It's an interesting situation. Bruno Giancara pitted on lap 20. That was one lap before the first pit window opened. And I'm wondering why they would do such a thing, guaranteeing themselves a third stop before the race ended. Yeah, that was a strange call. Mario Franchini staying right there with D'Amata. Vassar had passed Paul Tracy, so Vassar is continuing to come up the leaderboard. Tracy was si uh, six, Vassar seven. They've now reversed that. Vassar is now chasing Tagliani. We're past halfway here in Miami. Working lap number 61 of 105. Kara will be in to pit next time around. The next lap by Alex Tagliani and Jimmy Vassar. And then a lap later, we expect Kenny Breck, Sinji Nakano, and Adrian Fernandez to come calling. I hate to say this, but I, I think I hear an engine going off 
Song and it's either Tagliani or Vassar. When they go by here, it just doesn't sound good. I, I, I don't know who it is, but I believe it's one of those cars. You see they're running fifth and sixth. Bring her all the way in. You'll have a wide open pit. You'll have a wide open pit to Rick. Let's push. 35 mile an hour fifth lane speed limit. Ralph Shaheen awaits. Bruno Jacquera pitting from P1. It's on the mark. Knock it on the mark. Ralph Shaheen. Well, Bob, this was not a planned idea to make great pit stops quick. today. They just miscalculated by one lap. He stopped right in front of crew chief Ricky Davis, who changes the outside front tire. And he's away in about eight and a half seconds to Jan Bikas. Well, he goes back on track. A guy who's not going back on track, Patrick Patrick Carpentier. What happened to you getting into the wall? Uh, just myself. I got in a little bit too deep, and I saw that I couldn't make the turn. I tried to make it, and then I changed my mind. I tried to go to the escape road, and I uh, couldn't make the escape road, so I hit uh, the wall head on, but uh, just got in too deep. Did it relate at all to yet some slight contact at the very beginning of the race in the final corner? Did that relate to it at all? Yeah, it didn't uh, change. Uh, it was very disappointing because uh, he came in too fast, spun me around, and I lost the lap right there, so we kind of lost the race, but the car was okay after that. Just a little bit loose, but uh, just uh, disappointing. Talk about disappointing. The championship now out of your reach. How disappointing is that? Yeah, that's very disappointing. We're just hoping that uh, we're going to be able to give a good fight to uh, try to finish in second place. All right, have a great end of the season. Thank you. And Patrick Carpentier brings up a good point. Second place. No fewer than eight drivers have a shot at second place with three races remaining after this weekend in Miami. Now, this is a great fight at the front here with the top three, but Vassar oh, and Tagliani problems for Vassar. Fight. Problems for Vassar. The rear wheels are spinning. They can't take the wheels off. Now Jimmy gets on the brakes. A long, long pit stop for Team Rail. Jimmy Vassar. And now Tagliani is the one he was trying to catch. There's Tagliani way ahead of Vassar. Here's Vassar all the way back up here. By the time he gets down 35 miles an hour, he'll be 10 seconds behind Tagliani at least. Look how slow 35 miles an hour seems till you get to the end of that uh, pit road. Here's the corner where they get sideways on the braking zone. Little chicane. Let's take another look at Vassar's pit. The key is the driver has to keep his brake, his hand on the, or uh, foot on the brakes. What happened? It never came up. Saw that. The men on those corners, the rear wheels gesturing, step on the brake. And you can see their frustration as their man drives away. Yeah, you lose three seconds when you're stationary. It's 10 to 15 seconds by the time you get up to speed on the racetrack. Cristiano D'Amata moves back into the race lead. He has led 11 of the 12 street or road course races this season. He only failed to lead at Denver two races ago. Michael Andretti holds the record, leading 16 of 17 races on the season. Michael in shortly, but right now we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a moment with more of the Grand Prix Americas from Miami.